Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. We are currently in Lafayette, Riga. So Riga is a, an old medieval town. It's well preserved and is also a world heritage, UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city itself was founded about 1201. So the population is around 630,000 people. But 30 years beforehand, it used to be around 900,000. There was a big drop. Maybe it's due to lack of opportunities in the country and people wanted better opportunity elsewhere. Immigration, it happens. The city's population is depleting, unfortunately. But we are here to embrace this beautiful country and this beautiful city of Riga. So as you can see, it's well preserved, has this lovely medieval style. And yeah, we're gonna go and explore the old town. We just checked into our hotel. We're going to the central market. It's full of vendors, food vendors, fresh produce, everything you can think of. We have about a 10 minute walk to get there. So let's enjoy the journey and immerse yourself into this lovely country itself. Let's go, Mr. Carl. Yeah, Unfortunately, we don't have Maddo with us today. We have our friend, Carl. He's gonna tag along on my adventure in the background. Maddo is back home at the moment. It's just a lad's trip. So as you can see, it is super vibrant. Also rich in Latvian food, cuisines. The cobblestone rock as well on the streets, the cobblestone streets. And we have a lot of different kind of stores that surround us, some coffee, some tea. Um, a lot of hostels and hotels. I mean, it is a beautiful place to stay. I wonder what the nightlife is like around here. I'd say it's quite good. I heard it was good. But we obviously, we haven't eaten anything since yesterday, so we are absolutely starving. And that's why we're going to the central Riga market. Let's see what, obviously, what options they have available. On the left, a big square, more beautiful buildings. And to the right, we also have the same situation with the buildings and architecture. Can't get over it. But yeah, let's continue to walk along this lovely cobblestone street. We're heading towards the Riga Central American now. But yeah, look at the, look at the cool uh, trams actually in uh, Riga. I didn't, that's the first time I've seen uh, the tram here in town. So yeah, it's beautiful. And also this, this road itself is actually really nice as well. Situated right in the heart here of the old town. Just, just admiring everything around me, I suppose. A central station, I think, that's what it means. Heading underground because on the major, on the most major roads, you have to take the underground passage. And a fine look. Very vibrant city, of course. Full of uh, talented people. So, there's somebody playing a, a violin down here. That's beautiful. Get some air for sale as well down here. Yeah, so yeah, makes the vibe better when you got taken the underground passage. You have a little watch store as well. I think he uh, fix, fixes watches actually. Pretty nice, old school. I love the music, I love the bakery. Oh my god, that's pretty cute. Small little underground bakery. Selling all uh, pastries and traditional treats, I think. All right, back up the stairs to the other side of the street. My first impression of Riga, pretty good so far. So we are going back up to the top level again, heading down there towards the central market. I think it's just down the way there. I think the tram actually brings you right to the central market as well, because the tram track goes that direction. Europe's biggest market here in Riga which was established in 1930 it's a lovely bazaar it looks it does look pretty big now in fairness because you have all outdoor uh, vendors and stalls as well you can actually get some fresh bread there look that looks beautiful hello so yeah just like what you do recording me and <laughs> um, blueberries watermelon bananas potatoes fresh produce everything you can think of at a fairly affordable price so i'm assuming the fresh produce is outside and indoors is the main food market where all the fish is here to the left and also you have a market inside on the right as well so it is absolutely massive how big it really is carl what do you think eight, eight euro kilo shaker shaker they look very delicious. They look very sweet. It's like a dark red, yeah. 
vibrant. Very vibrant, yeah. You're getting something here, Tony. Definitely. You want something? No, we'll just take a shower. We'll walk, yeah. walk around first. It's gonna walk around first. Yeah. We only arrived. Can't be buying things already. We're only in the door. It's actually the biggest bazaar in Europe. Oh my god, that is massive. Look how far it goes. Now they're selling more clothes and I think handmade knitted clothes and shoes. Probably traditional slippers they sell here in Riga. It's pretty cool. Uh, we have fresh tomatoes, cucumbers. Typical things for where they would usually sell at typical flea markets and bazaars. What do you think of the fresh produce? Yeah. Looks beautiful. beautiful yeah. Very Looks very tasty and vibrant, yeah. It's had that very nutritious, full of full of nutrients. nutrients. Yeah. Yeah. Is that khaki fruit, is it? Or is that a... Uh, it's cucumber. That's a uh, orange tomato. Oh, right. I thought that was khaki fruit. There is different coloured tomatoes. It looks like a fruit. It does. Orange it's fruit it's you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, cucumbers, tomatoes. They all look like they were picked with love. Yeah. <laughs> um, four euro for a box of blueberries. That's a pretty good deal. For the blueberries. Full of oh, yeah. antioxidants. Blueberries. Them, isn't it? Should have bought some. I will, buy. Buy them after. Yeah. We're just entering into the main... Hall where they're selling all the, the fish and the meats. Looks like butchers. Yeah, it seems very quiet today. Maybe it's because it's during the week. I'd say the, the weekend is more lively. It's like that. Oh my god, that looks delicious. Looks good. I'll be back. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Oh, we have another side now. Oh, this market is never ending. It just keeps going. But yeah, there's a, it seems like a completely different side, different vibe over here. It's more like kind of a supermarket with smaller shops. This one section is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, a mini shops in every corner. Yeah, there's no food here. There's, there's all the food. Probably you're hungry, Carl, you want some food. Probably in the next one. Maybe there's food down here if you're lucky. Yeah, just a lot of clothes shops and stuff like that. So shoes and bags and um, we have a pharmacy. See, the cheese is never ending around here. Looks beautiful. It's like uh, <laughs> all the all the nice ladies looking after the, the cheese. Doing that work, working hard. I respect them. I have a lot of uh, nice treats here. Wow, wow. A lot of sweets, a lot of sweets. Mada was here right now, should be trying all them sweets. <laughs> Oh, look at that bread as well. That looks really nice, yeah. Nice fresh baguettes. Two euro ten for that. Very good prices too. Oh yeah, they look beautiful, don't they? So many different types. Incredible. And then you have honey, the honey section. Honey section, eh? Yeah, honeycombs, honey candles. Oh, this is the fish section, there, Carol. Oh, you get the smell, don't you? Smell of fish. All that fresh fish. Yeah, Lafayette is near the water though, isn't it? So. Yeah. You have all the fresh fish coming in, getting sold at this specific bazaar. Oh, that looks good. That looks very good. Look at all that trout and salmon, and we have fish eggs, calamari. Oh, that smells so nice. It looks like all smoked as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Sorry. Wow. Such a nice presentation. Sway here. They're very sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can I get 300? 500? 300, 400 grams? Half a kilo, I think. Half a kilo then, yeah? 500. Okay, half a kilo. How much is a half a kilo? Oh, so it's 590 a kilo, yeah? No, no, no. Good strawberry smoke. This one is a 590. Okay. Sounds good. How was your day going? Good? Quality sweet. Quality sweet? Yeah. It's dark. It's dark. Uh, very dark strawberry. How was your day going? You having a good day? Taste one. Taste one there, There you go. Thank you. There's some strawberries fresh from the, the bazaar here. Oh, they are definitely sweet, like she just told us. So. How much? Five. Five euro? Okay. That's a lot of strawberries, yeah. They are beautiful strawberries. Did you pick Did you pick them yourself? <laughs> did you pick them yourself? Yeah. No. All right, that's sweet as you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Actually, just in the market here, we have a typical uh, edible soup in a cup, so traditional. So you can obviously see it's in an edible cup where you put the soup inside. 
I've never seen anything like it before. It's very, uh, very unique. But I think I'm gonna pick up a soup, and then we have the famous traditional um, dumplings here in the background as well. So and that's an absolute bargain. Look, if you want a non-alcoholic beer, it's one euro fifty. So I think I'm gonna get. Is there a fish option? Mammy yeah. pork breast, chili peppers. We have chili con carne, the edible cup. I think I'm gonna get the fish soup though because that's a common one as well. It's only five euro and ten cents, so absolute bargain. There's the edible cups there, look. In the soup. Ah uh, yeah, so it's already ready made, so it's quick. It's like fast food. Quick transaction. Gonna curry out. That curry out us spring onion. Just adding the spices and the herbs on top of the soup now, so it's quick. I'm glad the way it's already uh, pre made, so I don't have to wait too long. Wouldn't that be crazy, though, to be honest? How is that not dri dripping, dripping from the bottom? Be mad. It's very thick, uh, very thick, thick dough or so. But um, I was researching and I found this is quite, quite normal and common here in the country, so you just drink it out of, out of the, the pastry cup. That's very good. That is very tasty, delicious. A quick snack on the go though, keep you going. But um, as you can see, it's like very creamy inside. Has a bit of uh, herbs on top. And I'm not sure what fish it is, but it's beautiful. You sip, then you bite, then you sip, then you bite. So, yeah, just bite your way through the cup and then sip it away. I don't know how, I don't know how this is holding the, the liquid though in the, in the pastry. I would expected it just to drip through, but no, it's pretty solid. That's why it's not dripping. It's just well. soft on the bottom, but it's not dripping. Very fascinating. Never seen anything, honestly, never seen anything like it. Only here in Latvia. Last bite, eating my cup, and then uh, we're gonna head somewhere else for a Carl in the old town. Grab a boy to eat. I was just back across the street now in the old town, and um, we're five minutes away for, from the objective to find that restaurant I'm looking for for Carl. But anyways, we're gonna enjoy the walk to get there and uh, just take in the surrounding architecture. But we have a bit of Guinness over here to the right side. I think we have a typical Irish pub because any town you go to around the world, there is an Irish pub, even in the weirdest locations in the world, even in even in bleeding, Pakistan. even in Nepal, in probably in the Mount Everest, there's an Irish pub, I believe. <laughs> it's unreal looking. Look at the buildings out of this world. But let's turn left and continue down the streets here, down these alleyways. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. He's even, he's even uh, admiring the viewers with some nice photos. You taking a picture of the Irish pub? Where? Right in front of you. Oh, yeah. Taking a picture of it. Oh, the place is thriving today. Everybody's out having a few beers on the town. So during the week, uh, it's, it's Tuesday, so it is pretty quiet. There's not many people out at the moment. But um, I think we're nearly at the restaurant. Hopefully it's not too busy. But obviously it's a nice day to have a few beers. The sun is shining. Get the shorts out. The Baltic International Bank. The Baltic. Love the name. I've never seen that bank before. The Baltic International Bank. Looks nice, isn't it? It does look nice. Looks, looks lovely, man. Old. Yeah, there's the local kitchen and bar. Um, I don't think it's the restaurant I'm looking for, but. Yeah, the buildings remind me of an old uh, German town actually around here. But it looks like it's buzzing down there with life. Looks a bit more lively, full of restaurants. Schweike. Sorry? Can I go into the. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. How are you? You okay? Yes, you? Very good, my friend. Very good. <laughs> it's a difficult uh, accent. Irish accent. Irish? Yeah. Irish accent, yeah. That's why, man. Quite, yeah. quite difficult. Yeah. yeah. yeah Everybody strong. says the same thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand, yeah, what you mean, but <laughs> I do my best to speak clearly. What's <laughs> in here? I can sit outside, yeah, it's the best spot. Bit of fresh air. Here's a the Lafian beef uh, stroganoff, yeah, with mashed potatoes. Yeah, okay. So looks good. Yeah, is that a yeah. typical traditional yeah. Uh, Lafayette uh, yeah, dish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I feel like this is a <laughs> bread they use for a starter here in Lafayette. It's a rye brown bread. I think they eat it every single day in the country. And I have to say, it does have a very unique flavour because there's a bit of sweetness to it. But it's nice. Carl ordered that. Yeah. That's for you, my friend. But the rye bread is lovely here, I have to say. It's one thing you should try when you're in the country. You want to try the cheese? 
Right, there you go, fresh out of the oven, it seems. This is fresh now. Is it, yeah? Yeah. It's more soft. Honestly, I've never actually tasted bread like this before. This Roy bread is very good, my friend. Very good. Yeah. I never tasted bread like this. It's beautiful. Yes, it's very traditional. I know, you eat, it, you eat this every day, yeah? Yeah. yeah. If, if I eat this, it'd be very fat. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. But as a as sugar, like sugar, sugar. Sometimes <laughs> it's very tasty. Yeah. Did I show Special the occasions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Brown bread. Or so we got the, the mashed potatoes, gherkins, and um, little fruits, and we have the beef here. Typical dish in Latvia. And um, we're only here for two days, so we're trying to eat as much traditional food as possible. Let's give the beef a go. So looks like a stew beef. There's no chew, on, there's no chew at all on the beef. It's no so, so, so tender. You just chew right through it. Instant transaction, to be honest, when you when you eat it. I'd say that beef is gorgeous. No better way to consume it with this nice view of the square behind me. I mean, we are right in the heart of the old city, so I suppose this is a bit more of a, a bit more of a expensive place. But in fairness, it's still cheaper than Ireland. We have St Peter's Church here, just above. You can actually, uh, you can actually visit the observation deck on top of the clock tower. Seems like a very touristic uh, spot. We just finished our dinner. Went down super well. I'm glad I got to obviously embrace the authentic dishes here, the cuisine, which um, Lafayette is known for. Has a lot of famous dishes. We're just going back to our accommodation actually. So I'm going to give you an insight and show you the hotel room. Uh, we booked it in a real kind of historical building old school kind of type but uh, we're going to give you a quick uh, insight and then we're going to continue our little adventure around town here in the old town the adventure continues in old uh, old town riga so yeah this is the the property here and it's five stories so we're just going to enter the pin and enter the property we haven't actually officially checked in yet zero five very good push it there you go so we have this old traditional setting here. It's like an old school kind of setting. I love the interior. It's very nice, but uh, we're on the toward floor. Yeah, uh, lift, yeah, if you want. You can walk up, walk up, yeah. All right, let's step inside. This is the room. It's very cozy. Very old school. Very chilled. Very simple, but we shall do the job. A few single beds, crap. So yeah, you have a lovely view of the street below. And that's the view. There you go. Right in the heart of old Arika. So yeah. I was gonna chill out for a few minutes, take it easy, and then hit the road again outside. But uh, yeah, accommodation isn't too cheap in all Riga, I have to say. It's not too cheap. But anyways, it's definitely worth coming for a weekend trip or so. So we're just back out, we're on the Valnu Oila uh, Street. It seems like a very typical commercial area where you do your shopping. And this is kind of the main square kind of of old Riga. I feel like everybody's just out having a good time. We have Circle K supermarkets, a lot of restaurants, sp sp you know, just restaurants scattered all over the old town of Riga. Well lit up, beautiful evening. We're gonna continue our stroll around town, having a good time. So that's the main objective right now. We have a, obviously a lovely square with lovely flowers grown here. I'm not sure what type of flower it is, but it definitely makes a difference and it uh, spices the, the atmosphere up here in the central area. But then um, you have a lot of restaurants scattered everywhere. And then you have all the beautiful architecture in the background. And there's Brew Pub and Kitchen. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's named after you, you Brew. believe it? Yeah, your nickname. Yeah, man. Brew. Brew's Kitchen. <laughs> a few pubs here as well. A lot of tourists out and about having a good time, having a few beer, beers and food. And then you have more cobblestone. Streets we're going to continue walking down and um, loving the vibe, a lot of music playing. I know it's a Wednesday evening, but still good vibes for, for the weekday. Surprisingly, what's the prices like here? Pretty reasonable as well with the prices, not too expensive for a main dish. But um, I, I don't know the prices elsewhere, so I can't really compare. I haven't really been outside the central area, so. Ah, oh, lovely, a few tunes playing. Making a good atmosphere. Nice and, it's nice and cozy. But everywhere is quiet. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. That's unreal looking. 
You can honestly get lost here, you can just get lost in the old town of Riga, yeah. It's really nice. Well, I didn't expect uh, the old town to be so big. I think they're setting up something here. There's a lot of vans and trucks. Maybe they're setting up a, an event of some sort. They have a lot of family crests there from Lafia on the side of this building. It's pretty awesome. And we're just gonna walk over to the local park across this tram track, I suppose. It's definitely a great place to chill out. There's a little uh, cafe here along the river. You can get some uh, coffee and alcoholic beverages. So I'm gonna pick up myself a coffee there and chill out along the water. Espresso and a lovely green tea to finish the evening off here in the park. Obviously it's a relaxing atmosphere. How much else to do really during the week here in Riga, so other than just chill out, take it easy and enjoy the company I suppose. What else can you do? <laughs> yeah, looking over the river, the nature, the flowers, the trees. So I suppose everybody's doing the same thing. The Radisson Blue. It's pretty tall, tall. I wasn't expecting it to be actually that high. When you're standing below, it looks pretty and it looks pretty cool, like to be honest. I'm gonna check it out, Carl, for a cup of tea. Honestly, I'd like to go up to check the view, and if you like it, we're gonna go back uh, probably tomorrow evening and actually may, maybe have a, a longer, longer period of time up there. So, oh, look at that. Look, the city continues. <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks very vibrant and uh, beautiful down this uh, way as well. There's actually good nightlife down here as well, so. Uh, during the night, there's a few nice bars and restaurants as well, and the lovely architecture continues. So, it is pretty quiet, I find. Uh, uh, Riga, it is pretty quiet, orientated. It's not like busy, busy. There's not a lot of people. Look at that vehicle. Look at that, vehicle. that is lovely. All the way, probably from the States. Yeah, it's gorgeous. A Cuba has a, actually them cars, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's make our way up. Hopefully, it's not 20 euro for a cup of tea. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too expensive. <laughs> ah yeah, look at that. That's unreal. Let's check out the sky bar in the Radisson Blue. Oh my god, this place is busy. That's unreal. It's a beautiful hotel. Let's see, can we go upstairs? Why do I want to disturb us? Oh. Nice view, isn't it? Do you like it? Another sky bar Ah yeah, that's unreal. Smaller. Different perspective of Riga. Yeah, it's actually unreal. It's a nice view. Look at the tower over there, the big one. I don't know what that stands for though. It's to get the Eiffel Tower's brother. The Eiffel Tower's brother, he says. <laughs> we are at the Skyline Bar. Let's check out the prices of the menu. The view is unreal. Spectacular. We got ourselves a table anyway, just for a quick drink. Um, just to get a feeling of the place for when we come back tomorrow evening. But yeah, golden hour, best time of the day to actually enjoy the view. So it's going down in the distance, you have the river. And you do have a lot of churches present in the city, as you can see here in the background. Honestly, it's thriving with historical buildings. I definitely recommend coming to Radisson Blue for the, the view and just for a nice evening vibe, I suppose. And back in the town, down the elevator. Find some uh, boy to eat over this way somewhere deep into Riga, the other side of town. So, yeah. outside of the old town. The other side of, that's not the old town as well. No. No, we're not in the old town anymore. And you walk down this way, that's all behind us. I think the older town is cleaner and just more historical, I suppose. Yeah. So, but it looked after better, I find. Yeah, we're just checking out the evening vibes here, just behind the Radisson Blue, where the city continues. I have to say, I like this part as well. It's blown me away, every part, while exploring Riga. Some lovely bars and cafes down this way, I have to say. And the, the lovely buildings continue. The old architecture. Wow. Right, I think we found a restaurant. We found Melanda's Black Garlic, it's called, when you translate it. Melanda's uh, Locus. Uh, Kibloka, which translates to black garlic. Looks like a good restaurant there, my friend. Well, oh geez, my god. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, taste the local where we put more. Perfect, yeah. Black bread, Perfect. and you can eat white uh, bread. Yes, sir, yes, I can eat yeah. white bread. You're very kind. Thank, Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Oh. Yeah. Great presentation. Onion soup is better than in France. 
Better than France. <laughs> it's better than France. Yeah, fair. There fair, you yeah. go. There Boys' go, choice. Yeah. Starter. Mm. Onion soup. Ooh, and some Roy traditional bread. That looks unreal. Can I try that? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. May I please have some tap water? What? Some tap water. What? We have some uh, veal cheeks here. Very tender looking. With some uh, a side of vegetables and garlic. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Roy, we had a very uh, delightful experience there with the food. Honestly, that beef veal was just fell off. Wait, you know, fell off the bone, for example. It's so tender and uh, super tender. But we had a good time, good chat, talking to the people as well there. So we just had a good conversation with my next door neighbor having dinner as well. But yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the first impression of uh, Riga uh, Lafayette. There's, there's a movie going on here. That's a movie, Carl. Yeah, we have a movie going on here. There's, uh, everybody has their costumes. I think they're filming something for a movie. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if I can involve myself in this situation. But they're all, they have all the costumes on. That's pretty cool. They're just walking. <laughs> Don't be part of the movie. But anyways, there's a movie going on here in Riga because of all the historical buildings. It's a great backdrop for a film, of course, here in Riga because it's so, it just has such a historical vibe. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it, this first impression of beautiful Riga. It's the evening time, it's lively, but yeah, time to say goodnight, we're going to sleep. So please like and subscribe and catch you in the next episode.